Hello science students. Today we're going to show you a demonstration. We're working on the heat and particle movement lab. Uh, this is the demonstration of heat and particle movement. And what I have here is some cold water and some hot water. And the cold water is colored blue to remind or to show you that it's cold water. And the hot water is colored yellow or sorry, red to show you it's hot water. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to, in a moment, I am going to put, I'm going to start out by putting the cold water on the hot water. And I'm going to do that by putting this piece of styrofoam card on top of the blue, the cold water, and I'm going to invert it and put it on top of the hot water. I'm going to pull the card out. And so what do you think is going to happen when I pull the card out? Granted, if you know what's going to happen if the water stays in. Uh, we hope it doesn't all pour out. That's not part of the experiment, but it could happen. So what do you think is going to happen if I just leave the, or I pull the card out and I leave them on top of each other and the water is able to touch each other? So let's do that first. So we're going to put that on top of this one. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to put it on top. So at this point, we have them on top of each other. I'm going to pull the card out. Try to keep it lined up. It's kind of hard to do while I'm on video, but that's what I'm going to do. I'll try to do the best I can. And so watch what happens. Okay. So what we see, what did we see? Make your observations. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hot water on top of the cold water. I want you to watch. What do you think is going to happen? Is the same thing going to happen uh, that happened when I put the cold water on top of the hot water? I don't know. Try to think about what you think is going to happen before I do it. Okay, here we go. this out. Hopefully this will line up just fine. Ooh, ooh, darn it, I'm not doing it right here. That is not good. Something else came out. But enough stayed in you can kind of tell what what's going to happen. Okay, so what is the reason why? Well, some people in class said, well, Mr. Lavender, hot and cold doesn't mix. Well, that's not necessarily true because this one mixed and it was hot and cold, the same hot and cold water than it was in this, these two. So they do mix. So why did this mix and this one didn't mix? Well, some people say, well, you had something in between them. Nope, the water, I'd put them the same way. Um, the reason why is because in this one, uh, well, and some other people in class said, well, heat rises and cold sinks. That's true. Why? Why does heat rise and cold sinks? The reason why is because of the particle uh, and the molecules and the moving around the molecules. You see, it has to do with thermal energy. We've been studying energy. It has to do with the energy that moves the particles around. When you have hot when you have a lot of thermal energy, those particles are moving very, very fast and they're bumping up against each other and they're spreading out. They're trying to spread out as much as possible. And so it's less dense. The cold water has less thermal energy in it. See, there's nothing, there's no such thing as cold. It's the absence of thermal energy. And so the cold water has less thermal energy in it. And what's happening is with less energy, those particles are not moving as fast. They're kind of sticking together not really stuck together. They can still move around each other, but they are slower and so they're more dense and they fall to the bottom. Well, then why did these stay separated? Because the cold being more dense moved down to the bottom and as it was moving down to the bottom, it mixed with the red and ca caused it not to work or caused it to mix together. 
However, the red being less dense here, and the cold being, or the cold water being more dense, did the red didn't want it, didn't want to, you know, wasn't more dense, so it didn't flow to the bottom, and therefore there was no mixing. They didn't, they, the, the density differences stay the same. There's no mixing. Now, as this cools down, you're going to see this little area right in the middle. It would get colder or cooler and cooler, and what would happen is the waters would mix because they were no longer the same density, but or they would be closer to the same density. So that's what happens. It's all about the particle movements. Now, hot water is less dense than cold water because the particles are moving faster. If we got them really fast by putting them onto the stove and we added a lot of thermal energy to them, those particles would be moving apart even faster. And so what would happen is some of those particles would break away and that would be called evaporation. That would be, call, that would be called vaporization of that liquid. The particles, the water, the water, the little water molecules would break, some of them would break away and float away, and that would be water vapor. It would turn into a gas. You add more, you add more thermal energy to water, and it's going to turn into a gas. It's going to turn into water vapor. If you took away more energy from water, you're slowing those particles down, and you keep slowing them down until they lock together, until they, they don't have enough energy to even move apart and they turn into a solid, and solid water is called ice. So basically, it all has to do with particle motion. So that's the first part of our lab, the demonstration of the red and blue bottles. So thank you for watching. The next video will be the actual uh, demonstration of the lab for those people who were in class. Thank you.